What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to massively speed up numerical expressions when working with NumPy or Pandas. So let us get right into it. All right, so another video focusing on optimizing Python code for speed. Today, we're going to learn how to massively speed up the evaluation of numerical expressions when working with NumPy and pandas. Numerical expressions are basically any calculation, a sine function, a cosine function, logarithms, additions, divisions, conditions, and so on. Anything that is basically a calculation that needs to be evaluated, we can massively speed this up using a third party package called NumExpert. So this is basically a numerical expression library. You can see it's a fast numerical array expression evaluator for Python, NumPy, pandas, pi tables, and more. And when we scroll down on the GitHub page, you can see here it explains how all of this speed up is uh, happening. Basically, less allocated memory, uh, more CPU cores used, parallelism is utilized better, and so on. You can read that if you want to. Um, and we're going to see in this video today how to do that and how much faster we can be when using this package instead of just NumPy and Pandas um, alone. And the important thing is that the speed up is better if you have large arrays. It says that here somewhere in the text uh, that when you have large arrays, you're going to see more speed up. Whereas if you use very, very small arrays, you might even see a small slowdown. So we're going to work with very large arrays today. So I'm going to start here by installing... Uh, the packages that we need for today, obviously NumPy, obviously pandas, and obviously numexper, which is our package for the optimization. Uh, of course, pip install. Uh, so we're going to install these three packages. In my case, I already have them on my system. And then we're going to import them. We're going to say import numpy as np. And we're going to import numerical expression or numexper as ne. And we're also going to import the core Python uh, module time so that we can measure the time differences. Um, now, let us start with something very basic. Let's say we want to have an array np random rand, and we're going to say we want to have 10 million values 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. We want to do that for a second array as well. And then we want to do some numerical expressions. So we want to say the start time is equal to time dot time and then we want to do um, let's go with the result is equal to or actually let's call this result np is equal to just calling a times b plus np sine of a for example then we're going to say time time again and that is going to just do a calculation and it's going to measure the time so we can then print and minus start to get the time Maybe we can also say that this is the numpy time like this. Uh, and then we can do the same thing. But instead of doing it like this, we're going to use our NE package. So we're going to say result NE. And now we're going to call a function called evaluate. So we're going to say NE dot evaluate. And to this function, we're going to pass a string, which is going to be a times b times uh, or actually plus sine a. So it's the same expression, but we provide it as a string to the evaluate function of NE. And then we can see what the difference here is in terms of time. And you can see that this takes 0 0.13 seconds, this takes uh, 0 0.03 seconds, so much, much faster. Um, and we can also maybe try I don't know if that's going to be too much. I don't know the runtime complexity of this. But if I add a zero, there you go, we have 2.72 seconds here for the NumPy expression, 0 0.26 seconds here uh, for the numerical expression. So this is much, much faster. Now we can do the same thing here in pandas. For this, I want to show you another code sample. But instead of typing it from scratch, I'm going to just copy paste it. So I don't waste too much time here typing all of this. Uh, but basically, what we do here is we also import pandas as PD. And then we create a data frame with the columns A, B, C, D. Again, 10 million random values per column. And then we have a couple of things that we do. We create three new columns, EFG, and they are the result of numerical expression. So here, for example, multiplication plus sign minus logarithm. Here we have a condition. If that is true, then this, otherwise this. And then we also have some basic calculation here. 
And down below, we have the equivalent code using NE. So we have evaluate, and we have the same functions here just without NP. So NP sign becomes sign, NP lock becomes lock and NP where becomes where. Uh, but it's the same evaluation, it's the same um, result here. And we can see that that is the case. Because when I run this, first of all, I'm going to get a speed up, you can see that pandas is slower than using numexpr with pandas. Um, but you can see that E and E and E, or F and F and E or G and G and E, they all have the same values here. So the results are the same but we're much faster using the numerical expression library. And I can also try that with more, I can try to do that with uh, 20 million instead of 10 million. Uh, and then we're going to again see a speed up a massive speed up. So this is a very powerful package, it only works with numerical expressions, So it doesn't work with all kinds of uh, operations. But if you have to do numerical expressions, there's no reason to go with core pandas or core numpy, if you can use this package, provided that the array is large enough, because for smaller arrays, I mean, we can see what happens, maybe it also gives us a speed up if we do that with some, but I, I think it's going to be that fast, we're not going to even be able to see uh, a difference here. But actually, yeah, I mean, it's a bit faster, but it's not really, not really important, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not that much of a big deal, we can maybe try with 20. I'm not sure if at some point this might become even slower, could be the case. I don't know, maybe if we go with two. Uh, no, still faster. But the real power is when you work with a lot of data when we when we work with 20 million uh, entries, or something like that. But yeah, this is how you can massively speed up numerical expressions or the evaluation of numerical expressions when working with NumPy and pandas. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video. And bye.